Hey guys, today I have a couple new products from Isle of Paradise. We have the Day Dew and Night Glow Self Tan Face Mists. So these are each 29 Canadian or 22 US dollars and you get 100 mils or 3.38 fluid ounces of product. So a little bit about each of them. I'll start with the day one. So the Day Dew is supposed to be an energizing gradual glow. So the idea is that it combines skincare and self tan. It's supposed to help with pores, redness, and dullness. So it has vitamin C to brighten. It's supposed to plump up your skin, lock in moisture. So to use it, you're supposed to shake to activate it. And it is interesting. At first, it just looks like water, but when you shake it up, you can see the water and oil. It almost looks like it separates as it activates. It kind of gets bubbly. It looks kind of cool. So for the day one, use daily before your makeup if you want. Close your eyes, spritz it two to three times on your face, and then massage it into your skin. As soon as you spray it onto your face, you can smell the citrus and the rosemary. It doesn't smell like fake tan until about two to three hours later. <laughs> and then we have the night glow. So this one's supposed to be more relaxing, kind of help you wind down before the night. And it's supposed to hydrate and soothe your skin as you sleep. This one's supposed to help with redness, dullness, and uneven texture. This one has jasmine oil, argon oil, and hyaluronic acid to make sure your skin is super hydrated and smooth. And same thing, shake it well, spray it two to three times on your face rub it in and this is supposed to be kind of the last step in your night routine so after you've done all your skincare your moisturizer when you're like the very last step use the self tan this one when you spray it you can smell the lavender it smells a little bit of vanilla definitely a nice calm scent uh doesn't smell like fake tan until again two to three hours after you apply it so the packaging on each of these pretty cute especially when you hold them side by side they look extra cute together they complement each other nicely the nozzle when you spray it the mist is pretty fine and it goes nice and wide so you kind of get all over your face evenly distributed and yeah it is interesting when you shake it up it looks like the product gets thicker less watery and more kind of oily so i was gonna kind of compare these and share my thoughts on them separately but they're honestly so similar each of them besides the scent it's not really worth it to talk about one and then talk about the other because it would be the same thing really so i'm just gonna treat them pretty much as one product and maybe there's like different ingredients or whatever but as far as using them and how they work on my skin and stuff they are basically the same thing <laughs> first of all this does not need to be a spray. I think the spray is a little bit gimmicky. It does sound like a good idea. Like when I bought these, I was like, oh, that sounds great, nice and easy. But I sprayed it on my face once and then never again because you are spraying self tan all over your body and your surrounding area. And it's not like a setting spray or something where it doesn't really matter if you get it on your clothes, but the self tan is pretty sticky honestly to get all over your clothes and just so not worth it so what i do these days is i just spray it into my hand and then rub it in my hands and rub it in my face i do get the like relaxing aspect and the energizing aspect like i love a good face spray but self tan is just not the place to have a spray it's just not and like you need to rub it in anyway so it's not like you're saving washing your hands or anything you can't just spray it on your face and be done they suggest rubbing it in so that it's even so the spray is just kind of gimmicky yeah it just gets in your hair it gets on your clothes it gets wherever you're sitting it's just not not worth it the consistency with it being a spray i kind of thought it'd be like watery but it is pretty oily and i don't know if this is just a coincidence or not, I don't want to blame it on these products because I can't say for sure, but I started breaking out like around my chin and I don't know if it's because of these, which I can see because they are oily. In general, my skin's pretty calm. It doesn't break out that often, but who knows? Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe it's not. It's just an oily consistency. It is, both of them are pretty hydrating and they feel generally comfortable. So, okay, this is where they're different. They're not different, but the way they're marketed is different. So the night one, you're supposed to use it at night. So I don't mind my face feeling a little bit more sticky when I'm going to bed because I usually use thick moisturizers at night. I'm used to it, but this is just way too thick for me to use in the day, like before I go about my day. Um, I can't even put makeup on top of the day one. It suggests that you put it on before makeup, but every time I try, it looks so bad. My makeup just doesn't go on any type of foundation. It's just 
so sticky and it doesn't work. I tried to use this before work one morning and that was a bad mistake. Maybe your makeup routine make it work for you, but for me, it just doesn't work. I can put it on during the day if I'm not gonna wear makeup. Like today I put it on this morning and I kind of left my face pretty low coverage. I just put on some bronzer and a bit of concealer under my eyes, but other than that, there's not much going on. Basically, if I'm not putting any foundation on, I can use it during the day. So just because of the consistency of the product, I prefer the night one. And I like using it before bed because I don't care if my face feels a little bit sticky and heavy when I'm going to bed. That being said, you can use the day one at nighttime. Like it really doesn't matter which one you use at what time of the day. It's just kind of the marketing thing. Now, while they both have these really nice scents, that only lasts for a couple hours. After like two, three hours, your face just smells like baked tan. So that's another reason why I don't like using it during the day. I prefer not to smell like that during the day, but at night, I just don't care. <laughs> but as far as the tanning results go, after just the first application, it does give a nice, subtle, even glow. It's nice for me because I'm pretty pale and a lot of self tanners just are orange like right away and they're a bit too intense and then you've got it on your face and you're stuck with it but this one is very gradual so if you just want the slightest little bit of tan then this would be good for you it'll build up to three days and then after that um it kind of stays at the same level of tan this is what my skin looks like if i just keep using it every day it'll pretty much peak at this level of tan which is actually pretty tan and then if you decide you are not feeling the tan anymore i'd say it starts to wear off after about three days like if you stop using it three days later your skin will pretty much be back to normal like that's if you don't really do much to your face if you're not exfoliating or using a lot of skincare then it'll probably be about three days before it goes away. For me personally, I just don't think these need to be two separate products. They perform pretty much the same besides the scent. I mean, maybe if you want this lavender scent specifically for like winding down or you like the citrus one for waking yourself up in the morning, then I guess I can see the need for the two different products. But performance wise, they're the same. Overall, I know I kind of trashed on it, but I do like these products. I like the way they make my skin look after just a day, just to kind of give me a little bit of life, especially in the winter. I can get quite pale in the winter. I'm not really looking forward to that. It'll be good to kind of awaken my face a little bit without going too overboard. It's just the perfect amount of tan for me. However, if your skin is any darker than mine, it'll probably take a couple days before you see any results because it is like after the first day, the results are pretty subtle. I'm gonna keep using this, not every day. I really don't need to use it every day. Maybe like every three days just to keep a little baseline glow. Anyway, let me know if you'll be trying these out, if you'll be trying them both out, one or the other. If you think it's gimmicky, let me know and I will see you later. Bye.